Hello everyone. Welcome back to X Machines channel. In the process of smelting spent metal often produces slag. Due to the increasing demand of metal products, especially iron and steel in recent years, slag production has also increased rapidly. In this video, X Machines will learn about the machinery, equipment and technology of slag treatment in metallurgical plants. Slag is a byproduct of smelting, pyrometallurgical, ores and used metals. Broadly, it can be classified as ferrous, byproducts of processing iron and steel, ferroalloy, byproduct of ferroalloy production, or non-ferrous slash base metals, byproducts of recovering non-ferrous materials like copper, nickel, zinc and phosphorus. Due to the large demand for these materials, slag production has also significantly increased throughout the years despite recycling, most notably in the iron and steelmaking industries, and upcycling efforts. The World Steel Association, WSA, estimates that 600 kg of byproducts, tilde 90 weight percent as slags, are generated per ton of steel produced. Along with the efforts to improve steel processing technology, the technologies and machines that support the slag treatment process are also very interested in investment and development. Olanbo is Ukraine's leading supplier of accessories for excavators. The company manufactures grizzly buckets to work with blast furnaces and steel slag in steel and metallurgical plants. These buckets are designed for loading, unloading, moving and hot slag collection operations. To ensure long and efficient operation, the Grizzly hot slag bucket is constructed of wear-resistant hardox steel, the additional use of stiffening ribs allowing the bucket to withstand high operating loads. Multi-mover M700 Kirov, a pioneer in the field of transporting particularly heavy loads, has received an order for three trucks of 700 tons, total weight of pallets, excavators and raw iron, from the company. Tizenkrupp AG. It is the largest steel and technology company in Germany Tizenkrupp AG is the largest steel and technology company in Germany and also one of the largest steel producers in the world. It has its corporate headquarters in Essen, Germany. The quest to build new steel mills TXA in Brazil required Tizenkrupp an innovative system solution for transporting liquid iron from blast furnaces to steel mills. Compared to the conventional system that uses a lot of space, the construction and high maneuverability of this agile, self-propelled M700 requires a relatively small amount of space and thus achieves travel routes. Short, simple and cost-effective, which is also almost universal compared to conventional systems can be used. The distance between the two blast furnaces and the structural steel in Tuxa is less than 400 meters. The heat loss of raw iron is low. The multi-mover M764 wheels, hydraulic axle load compensation and oscillating axles ensure an even load on the road with relatively low longitudinal wheel force. The hydrostatic transmission and service brakes distribute lateral traction and braking force across multiple wheels into the roadway, greatly reducing road construction and maintenance costs. In addition to transporting cast iron, 
A similarly elegant solution must also be found for cold refining of the excess cast iron generated during the startup phase of a blast furnace or in the event of a failure in a steel mill. Kirov accepted the engineering challenge and in just 18 months developed the world's only 550-ton mobile dump crane. The Multimo Ver Y550 if pig iron is to be cold. The Multimover M700 do not transport the pallets with the filled pig iron ladles to the steelworks, but to the pig iron beds located directly on the connecting road between the blast furnace and the steelworks or to one ingot casting plant. The Multimover Y550 drives over the pallets and lifts out the pig iron pans. He then transports the filled pig iron ladle to the ingot casting plant or to one of the pig iron beds. Here the pig iron is tilted with the auxiliary lift into the tundish. Depending on the requirements, this process can be controlled very precisely by the operator using a radio control system, either manually or semi-automatically. When tipping into raw iron beds, the hot raw iron is distributed in the beds, where it cools down and is crushed. In the ingot casting plant, the pig iron runs on conveyor belts that are formed from casting molds. When the pig iron cools down in these molds, so-called ingots are formed with the aid of water as a coolant. Both the crushed pig iron and the ingots are fed back into the steelmaking process. The hydrostatically driven hoists for lifting, lowering and tipping pig iron ladles weighing up to 550T were developed taking into account the regulations for the transport of molten liquid masses and meet the highest safety requirements. Two power packs are installed in such a way that if one power pack fails, the other can take over all of the crane's functions on its own. The operator only has to select the corresponding power pack via a selector switch. This redundancy considerably increases the availability of the crane, which is extremely important for the operational processes in the steel works. A number of components and technical principles, such as bogies, steering, hydraulic pumps and motors, computers, etc., were adopted from the Multimover M700. This minimizes the stock of spare parts and simplifies the operation, maintenance and repair of the devices. Fracta Model 100. Desculling slag pot. Breaking red hot skull so no drop ball is needed. Avoid using drop ball and save money. Fractum manufactures the biggest, most powerful breakers in the world. Fractum drop ball breakers are capable of delivering up to 300.000 joules per stroke or more, an energy level that is 15 to 30 times more potent than the biggest hydraulic breaker available on the market, with a hammerhead impact frequency up to 10 strokes per minute.
This is steel casting foundry process from Great Wall Steel Casting Comedy with Kang Slag Pot. The slag pot, slag ladle, is an important device in steel making. It is a load bearing device to collect molten or solid slag generated during steel making and iron making processes. Kang makes continuous technical innovations in the casting process, and Kang slag pot has long service life and strong resistance to deformation. The slag pots are available with the finished weights range from 1 to 85 tons, with nearly every shape and style for a variety of mounting systems and methods of transport. Except the supply of the forgings for trunnions and the engineering of the pattern, all further operations are carried out at the in-house foundry plant. The melting is carried out in the oxygen steel plant, the ladle capacity allows a continuous bottom pouring process the speed of which is permanently controlled. The metal analysis is checked by using a computer link spectrograph. Heat treatment. Heating to a temperature above AR3, austenitizing at about 915 degrees Celsius and controlled cooling in furnace. Intermediate holding at 600 degrees Celsius to 630 degrees Celsius and completion of cooling in furnace down to 300 degrees Celsius. Fettling and dressing. The inner surface is processed fit for purpose so that the surface discontinuities, which might cause some sticking of the slag, are extensively removed. Additionally, the castings are descaled by shot blasting and the outside is additionally coated for transportation.